I know there is understandable concern across our islands about the impact of the deteriorating situation in Haiti. I want to assure each and every one of you that the safety and security of the Turks and Caicos Islands is our highest priority. In partnership with international and regional agencies, we have mounted a full force air, sea and land enforcement effort to tackle the threats we face from irregular migration and organised crime. Each morning, our multi-agency security leads are meeting to debrief and ensure operations remain focused to evolving threats. In the last two weeks, there have been 18 arrests relating to serious crime, and this morning, the Acting Commissioner confirmed a dedicated robbery policing team is being set up to provide focused investigative and policing capability on this front. To secure our defence position, I have been in active dialogue with the UK government to confirm required operational assistance to enhance our maritime interdiction, aerial surveillance and operational enforcement capability. The UK Foreign Secretary has confirmed the Turks and Caicos Islands is the priority for the UK government. A reconnaissance mission from the UK Ministry of Defence, Home Office and UK Border Force will arrive in the Turks and Caicos Islands today. The Honourable Premier, Honourable Minister of Immigration and I spoke to the Minister of the Overseas Territories, David Rutley, yesterday and have secured agreement for an additional marine patrol craft for the Turks and Caicos Islands. A wider package of support has also been agreed, including the radical upgrade of our marine domain awareness with advanced coastal sensors through the support of the Joint Maritime Security Centre. Border security upgrades to TCI's drone surveillance capability and policing assets, including new capabilities on forensics, body-worn cameras and CCTV. Such assistance will not only strengthen but provide a critical step change to our response efforts to secure the safety and security of our islands. We remain focused and determined in our efforts to interdict, disrupt and dismantle the threats we face. May God bless you and may God bless our beautiful by nature islands.